What is going on, sports fans, and welcome to opening day of the Seattle Mariners franchise after a packed offseason and the World Series Mariners taking on the Texas Rangers. As mentioned, the Mariners are coming off of a World Series win last season, looking to make it two straight seasons with a championship. The Mariners have the same batting lineup as they did last year. They'll want that consistency going forward. Smith in leadoff, Hanniger and Rendon in the three and four spot, respectively all the way down to Alfredo Escalera at the bottom of the lineup as the Rangers lead off with Jorge Molero. And here we go underway. The pitcher for the Rangers, Rafael Montero, not exactly blazing last season with a 4-20 record. And he will start off blazing. Mitch Hanniger on the strikeout. We will switch sides. Bottom of the first, Derek Rodriguez on the mound for the first time today. Last year, 13 of 11 with a 3.52 ERA. He will face on Mateo in the bottom of the first two and two. He goes down swinging. Mateo swinging at the air. Next batter, bottom of the first. Mariners turn a 4-5-3 double play to get out of the inning. We are scoreless after one transition. Bottom of the fourth, got him again. Goes down swinging but on a full count, not the same story, going downfield, finds a gap between the outfield, a lot of juice on that one, off the wall, one comes in, Rangers send a second, the throw is not in time, the Rangers lead two to nothing in the bottom of the fifth inning. After a full count double, and Rodriguez just trying to get out of the inning, he takes one down, will get out of it, top of the seventh, up the middle, it is good, for a single, Rangers hold the runners there. Here comes a new pitcher for the Rangers in the seventh inning, Chris Martin. Checks in as the reliever for the Mariners. Two games this season so far, looking to close out this game for the Rangers up. And Escalera strikes out with two outs. So the Rangers retire the side. Top of the seventh, Wendy Peralta comes in, trying to close this game out for the Rangers. I cannot tell you if the Mariners have a notable hit to this point as their offense has been in a drought, and it continues for Malik Smith at the top of the lineup. Can't get anything going. Such a great player last season for the M's. Henry Villalobos comes onto the mound now, trying to finish what Rodriguez started. Two runs given up late. The Rangers going to look to tack on some more. High fly ball, deep left field, over the wall, and gone. A three run shot and an explanation point on this game in the bottom of the seventh. That will be your ball game, folks. Montero getting the win. Rodriguez the loss as the Rangers stunning the defending World Series champions in game one. The Mariners had plenty of hits in this game, but the Rangers ultimately had more chances to make big plays, turning those hits into points. Five runs, eight hits, versus the Mariners zero for seven hits. We have to see more power coming out of this lineup, continuing going forward into the season. An area where they were so good last season, leading them to a World Series championship win. So an 0-1 start for Seattle. We will see where game two in the series gets us. As we need to see some more power going forward from this lineup, they will look to do so against Yoander Mendez. 6'5", 208, 27 years old. The pitcher for the Rangers. Starting off top of the first. Malik Smith on the first play. That's what you like to see. There's a single into the shallow outfield, getting on base for the Mariners, exactly what they need. Coming up is the righty, it's Bogarts, taking a deep shot, fly ball, going, going, and off the wall, turning into a double for Bogarts. Malik Smith stays at third. The Mariners, two hits already, make it zero outs, already getting in some trouble. Bases loaded for Rendon. Rendon swings, misses, strikes out, and only the first one away for the Rangers. Work to do, and Crush Davis chases a high fastball. On the top would have been a ball, but instead he strikes out. Bases loaded, two outs, and a strikeout. Ryan Healy leaves three on base. Not what you want to see early on. Great job by the Rangers to get out of the inning. Yusei Kikuchi making his first start of the regular season. 12 and eight last year, the Southpaw from Japan has a 3.98 ERA last year, looking to improve it. He gets his first strikeout of the year, retires the side, and we are scoreless again after one inning. Move forward, bottom of the third. 
Base is loaded. Can Kikuchi get out of it? There's one down. Another goes down swinging. Can Kikuchi get three? Deja vu of earlier on the other side. To keep it scoreless, and they swing at a slider. Kikuchi gets out of the inning. Moving forward, top of the fifth. Malik's up to bat. Takes one outside and sends it all the way down into center field. Taking time, Malik's with a need for speed. Aiming for three, can he outrun it? He will indeed, sliding in safely. Bogarts, two outs, running in scoring position. Takes one deep into right field. It will drop, Malik scores, and Bogarts has a RBI single. The Mariners have their first lead of the year. CJ Nobles coming in for the Rangers. Six foot, 209, 23 years old. The lefty will have a tall task in the top of the fifth. He delivers strikeout on Mitch Hanniger. Yusei Kikuchi still in for the M's. No reason to take him out. The lefty has a strikeout in the bottom of the fifth. Mariners get out of it. One on. And Doan strikes out swinging, chasing that pitch. New pitcher in for the M's. Not a great start as this ball is taking it deep off the wall. That will be a double, at least it will be. He will stay there, cut off by the Mariners. Not what you'd like to see. And they will bring in Jamie Castilla immediately. Base is loaded. Flores, deep shot. Malix chases to the wall. Can he get there? Take out the rye bread and mustard grandma. Grand salami time in Texas. Pointing to the crowd, telling him to get up. Texas retakes the lead all of a sudden. It is a three-point ball game. That one with quite a bit of exit velocity. And the Mariners blow a lead in game two of the season like the Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl a few years back. Bringing it bottom of the eighth. The Mariners looking to get one more chance. This one is going deep. Slicing, it stays fair. And another bomb by Texas. Making a Mariners comeback even more difficult. A five-run lead for the Rangers. Leading 6-1 to one at this point. A slow start to the season for the M's, especially on the mound. Of course, missing out on Thor in the offseason. Could not get him to come. He was a Cleveland Indian instead. Top of the ninth, last chance for the M's. Crush Davis goes down swinging, chasing the slider outside. Now a grounder, and this game is over off of the full count. Two outs. Ball game, and my goodness, Texas with a late surge had the grand slam and another two run shot. The Mariners only with one run in from Malik Smith, not nearly enough power. Yet again, close to the Rangers in total hits, but the Mariners ultimately not having as much power potential as the Rangers have had in this game. The pitcher's given up a lot of deep shots in situations where they should not be, especially towards the end of the game, and it was ultimately the M's demise in this one. With those games out of the way, we will super sim the rest of the series. Early start here for each team as they turn a double play. Crush Davis on board with the single. Nakajima striking out, scoreless, moving into the third. The Mariners able to score two runs, making it 2 0 over Texas. Score remains 2 0, moving into the bottom of the third. Texas having no luck, stolen base, and finally getting a run scored, cutting this Mariners possession, but a solo jack by, I believe that was Brian Healy, making it 3 1 in Seattle's favor. Hoping not to blow this 3 1 lead, and just like the Warriors in the finals, they do just that, tying this game, Texas on a two-run jack. Bottom of the fifth, Texas still with possession. One out down, there's a single, a walk, and another few score for the Rangers. Late game resurgences have been their theme through these first few games, they get another solo shot. The Mariners down two, bottom of the six, anything is possible. But not when you are flying out. Nakajima strikes out again. Send it back to Malice. Stays on board with a single. We have a pitching change for the Rangers. And he will retire the side. Going back over to Texas. And fair to say. They will go on to win this game. The Mariners not able to put anything together. Falling 6-3 to three to Texas. Flores again. Two homers in this game. As we saw him jack that grand slam out of this universe. 
moving into another game, looking for a better outcome. The Mariners dropping to 0-3 this year. Shohei Itani, a new member of the Texas Rangers, unable to get anything done. However, we have a solo shot. Very nice job. Max Handiger coming right back for one of his own. 2-0, now it's 2-1. Moving forward, bottom of the three, two outs. Mariners back with possession again. Texas ties the game. The Mariners unable to do anything on offense. The Rangers sending it right back over top of the six. A much closer game, significantly less scoring. Fielder's choice and a walk moving forward into a pitching change. Remaining top of the seventh. And a strikeout makes it the bottom of the seventh in Texas's favor. Another pitching change for the M's. Tie game, 2-2 in the seventh. This one is tight. The Mariners looking to avoid the sweep in this one. Malik's unable to make anything happen, sending it back over to the Rangers in the bottom of the eighth. Pitching change for the Mariners. Send it right back over to top of the ninth. Rendon at bat, unable to do anything, sending it over to the Rangers. Extra innings. Nothing accomplished. Sim is going quickly. A pitching change in time for Mitch Hanniger. And a solo shot by the Texas Rangers. Make it a two-run shot to end it. And the Rangers will knock off the Seattle Mariners 5-3. The Mariners had taken the lead and the Rangers take it right back. And instead the Mariners will fall 0-4 in the series in this episode alone. The Rangers on top in the AL West division. Moving forward, the M's will take on the Houston Astros and then the Angels right after that. We will not see the Athletics in interdivision play early on in the year. We will, of course, see them down the line. But with that, that will be the end of the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, drop a like. I am FG, signing out. See you later and have a great day.